What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Boss One from Chirac News. Uh, so I want to do a quick video on this NLMB Lil Wet situation. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard um, about it and uh, basically know the whole prior backstory. Um, but basically, I'm just going to recap a little, man. So um, I, as you guys probably heard, two weeks ago, NLMB Lil Wet, uh, one of G Herbo's boys, was basically released from uh, prison after being held for more than three years um, on uh, basically four uh, first-degree murder charges. Um, so basically what they were saying is uh, his father, uh, whose name was Jerry Jacobs, um, he was basically shot uh, March 29th, um, 2017. Um, and he was shot in the 7900 block of South Phillips, which is basically right uh, right around 79th and Essex, um, in what it's called, in NLMB's hood and shit. And um, yeah, they're saying he was shot um, on the sidewalk around 11.15 p.m. when four, four men got out of a dark colored van and shot him up. Uh, police at the time... A reasonable person would believe the two shootings were related. I think a reasonable motive would be that his father got killed and subsequently he shoots and kills these four people. So basically the cops were saying the next day, March 30th, uh, Lil Wet basically uh, walked into this restaurant um, called Nadia's Fish and Chicken on 75th and South Coles um, and basically shot up and uh, killed these four dudes. Um, one, one of his name was Emmanuel Stokes, uh, Edwin Davis. Those were the two shot in the restaurant. Um, and then two other guys, one named Raheem Jackson and his brother Dylan Jackson, basically tried to run from the restaurant, and uh, they were both shot in different parking lots within a block of the restaurant. Um, so, yeah, basically what the cops were saying is um, basically Lil Wet was avenging his father's death. Um, and and if, you, I mean, if you read the stories, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, the night, the night before, four dudes shoot his dad up, um, and the next day he avenges their death. But um, basically what his mother was saying is that at the time of the shooting, she was on the phone with him. Um, she said she says he has phone records to prove that, and she also said he was at the coroner's office um, identifying his uh, father's body. Um, so I'll play this little video here for you. Nineteen-year-old Maurice Harris, pictured here in his mugshot, is accused of showing up to this South Shore restaurant last Thursday and gunning down these four men. But Harris's mother tells ABC7 her son cannot be the killer. Tamika Harris did not want to go on camera, but says she has phone records to prove she was talking to her son at the time the shooting happened. And she believes he was not even close to the restaurant, telling me Harris was at the coroner's office, identifying the body of his father, who'd just been killed. So based on that, man, he, like it seems like he had a good alibi. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on the past three years. Um, but this is why I think he's going to get a good settlement, man. He sat in jail for three years without bond, and then all charges were dropped against him. Um, so kind of like, uh, I, I know I heard Buka or 600 Buka. Um, I'm pretty sure he got some kind of settlement from the city for sitting in jail for, basically for something he didn't do. Um, so yeah, man, he sat in jail for three years. So I, I think he's probably going to get some kind of settlement for this. Um, probably decent, too. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to pull up the map, and I'm going to show you guys uh, where uh, this Nadia's Fish and Chicken is. Like I said, it's on 75th and Coles. I guess there's a gang called Coles Mob there. Um, so apparently NLMB. I, I, they're not, they don't have like a big, like a, I don't know, like not like a huge beef with them, but I know they don't get along. Um, but yeah, th like I said, they weren't really, I don't know if there's any big killings between the two, but that's why they're saying um, Lil Wet really didn't, I, I mean, if, if these dudes did kill his father, obviously had motive, but other than that, they weren't beefing heavy like that, um, NLMB and Coles Mob. But, uh, yeah, man, so I'm going to pull up this map. I'm going to show you guys exactly where it happened. All right, so I got the map pulled up for you guys. Um, and, yeah, so basically it happened down here in South Shore, uh, right, right around NLMB's hood. Um, this is where his father got killed the night before, uh, 79th and South Phillips. So basically it's a block over from, uh, block over from Essex, 79th and Essex right here. So, yeah, this is where his father got killed. And then they're saying the Nadia's Fish and Chicken is basically um, less than a half mile away, um, right here by 75th and 74th and Coles. Um, but like I said, there's a gang right here called Coles Mob. Um, I'm not too familiar with them, but basically this is this uh, this is the restaurant right here where they're saying it happened. Uh, Nadia's Fish and Chicken. So yeah, they say he, uh, allegedly he killed two people in there, and then. Uh, Two others tried to run away, and um, there there is some video too. I think it's on Live Leak. Um, it's nothing. It's nothing too like uh, graphic. I just didn't want to post it to get this video taken down or anything. But basically, it's just a dude mopping up blood after the uh, shooting. But yeah, this is where they're saying it's happened. Um, and apparently, the cops said there was eyewitnesses um, that pointed out Little Wet. Um, his real name is Maurice Harris. Um, they said they had eyewitnesses and shit, and that's basically why he was been booked these past three years. But 
Um, obviously, they're saying that the eyewitnesses uh, basically weren't reliable. They didn't have enough evidence to go on with the case, and that is why all charges were dropped. But uh, I just don't get it. If he had an alibi, if it was true, um, she, his mom had the phone records. Um, it just obviously wouldn't be hard to prove that. If he was at a coroner's office, there's obviously cameras. And if he's on the phone at the time of his father's death with his mother, obviously there was no way he could have done the shooting. So I don't know why it took so long. Um, but honestly, it's probably better for him because, like I said, probably the bigger settlement he will get. Um, if you sit in prison for three years for something you didn't do, especially with no bail, um, yeah, man, he's definitely going to get a settlement. So, um, yeah, man, Free Lil Wet. Um, he just dropped a music video, actually. actually uh, G Herb will post it posted it and uh it's decent for his first video but um i mean i probably see more from him in the future but yeah man i just wanted to do this quick little video for you guys so um yeah man this is the spot right here so yeah i'm gonna just wrap this up but uh basically man welcome home little wet um dude kept his mouth shut um and yeah man he's free now um and it's got to feel fucking good um he could have easily folded um they could have been basically saying could have got the death penalty they could have been trying to scare him into a confession and yeah, being a black man, man, uh, being a black man, and just the whole judicial system nowadays, it's scary sometimes, man. Um, because I, I honestly do think dude is innocent. Um, he's been claiming he was innocent, and uh, but yeah, you just never know what, what can go on, man. If shit does go to trial, so I mean, he had to been a fucking, he had to been scared, man. Um, like I said, it just you never know what's gonna happen. But he kept his mouth shut. Um, and now now he's a free man. So yeah, man, never never give a confession, especially if you didn't do it, but. Like I said, welcome home, Lil Wet. I just wanted to do this quick little video. Um, stay tuned. I got a lot more coming for y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I love y'all. It's your boy Bossman. I'm out.